Okay, this is a tutorial on Coulomb's law as it relates to periodic table trends. So we could actually uh, modify this title here. So Coulomb's law um, as it relates to periodic table trends. Okay, so what is Coulomb's law? It's a it's an equation um, based on uh, Q1 represents the charge of one particle. Q2 is the charge on another particle. These may be the same charge, and they may be opposite charges. And this is what happens in the atom. So you'll have the middle, the nucleus, which is positive, and the electrons, which are negative. And then you also have negative to negative repulsive effects going on to explain trends as well. So um, th those are the actual charges on an electron and a proton. So they're actually the same value, but opposite in sign. Um, and what R stands for is <clears throat> what R stands for is the radius or distance. between the distance separating the two charges. OK. Oops. OK, so R is the distance between the two charges. OK, if the charges are, are the same, the force, which is F, is repulsive and if the charges are opposite the force is attractive so this is what happens if you have like let's say lithium and it's got two electrons here and one here okay so these the force that holds this electron in, uh, around its uh, nucleus is a positive to negative attractive force so that in that case it would be attractive these two electrons, this one and this one, would experience a repulsive force, okay, which can be estimated using Coulomb's law. So I just want to caution with Coulomb's law. Um, the problem is the Coulomb's, there's one problem here is that Coulomb's law is actually from like classical physics. And this doesn't always apply exactly when you try to apply it to uh, the quantum mechanical model of the atom. Um, so just uh but it is helpful for estimating when we look at the Bohr model. So as we know, the Bohr model is not like entirely accurate picture. So it doesn't account for uh, the three dimensions of orbitals. OK, so uh, how does this relate to uh, the periodic table trends? Uh, one little note here. So I want to try to modify this equation a little bit to relate to uh, periodic table trends. So here's the definition. So IE is ionization energy. Um, which is the energy required to remove an electron. And this is actually, what this is actually saying is uh, the energy, another way you could say this is the energy needed to make a cation, because that's essentially what you're doing. So for example, if, for example, on lithium, if, if we take this electron, okay, and then we yank this electron off, we'll create Li plus. Okay, so IE is this energy. How much energy does it take? Okay, so this definition is really important for explaining the trends. So because, you know, if this is held tightly, uh, if it's held tightly by the nucleus, this number will increase. Okay, so in other words, when AR is small, IE will be big because the electrons are held tighter, so it's going to take more energy to remove. Okay, so let's try to apply Coulomb's law to that, that concept. Okay, uh, one more modification. So we could say the force F here in Coulomb's law is approximately equal to or you can approximate this force, or IE can be approximated with F. Okay, and um, some some textbooks actually refer to ionization energy as um, uh, 
also known as um, binding. It's also associated with binding energy. Okay, so um, going left to right on your periodic table, so left to right, uh, the protons increase. Okay, then what happens here is Um, so if we approximate IE with F, Q1 times Q2, and if we look at this equation, uh, these, uh, this number is, is increasing. Okay, the electron number is also increasing. Okay, so what, what happens here is it causes this force also, another factor is because of this fact, um, the distance between the two charges also starts to decrease. So if we look at the numerator starts increasing and the denominator starts decreasing, then we have the force of attraction increases and the force is approximating. A, so if these two numerator is going up and the denominator is decreasing, then the force of attraction is increasing. Okay, then we can approximately say that ionization energy should also increase. Um, and we could also say the atomic radius starts decreasing. Okay, so going up and down. Okay, so I'll explain it in one one direction here. Okay, on uh, going left to right. Okay, um, but you guys should be able to explain this using Coulomb's law going the other way. Um, so going up and down, I'm going to actually have you guys um, explain here. Um, so I'll write out the equation again that IE is approximated by the force of attraction between the two charges, so Q1 times Q2 over R2. Okay, so uh, um, I'll have you guys um, use Coulomb's law. So here's like kind of like the exit question. Use Coulomb's law to explain the two periodic table trends as you go down a column. Okay, so include your answer here. And you should be referencing, so use Coulomb's Law too. In your answer, I should be seeing you talk about the, the, uh, the difference in charges and the distance between those charges, what's happening to that number. Okay, and that's the uh, end of our tutorial.